Hi guys, this is Hadeep. Uh, welcome to my channel. In this video, I am going to show you how I use a PowerPoint and my Wacom tablet to record my math lessons. The Wacom tablet, I got it from Amazon for $104. Not uh, super expensive, but it, it, it's really worth it to spend your money to record a lessons. So here I'm going to show you what I did. Uh, I'm just going to play it. So I'm just going to stop it now here. Uh, here I'm using my Wacom tablet to write it down in, in my PowerPoint slide and I'm using the feature in your PowerPoint that will help you to do screen recording. Uh, so before I show you how I do screen recording, I'm just going to talk to you a little bit about the Wacom tablet. It's uh, super easy uh, to install and you just need to plug it in and then you need to go to the Wacom uh, website install your software it takes not even more than one minute super super easy not super complicated and your tablet will come with the stylus and other good thing about that it, it does not require any battery your stylus doesn't require any battery your tablet doesn't require any battery so that is the best part you don't need to worry about replacing the batteries okay and then when I I'm ready to record my lessons and I use a PowerPoint as I mentioned earlier to you. So how I do that kind of stuff. Um, sorry, it cannot really dub, uh, record a double screen. So I have some screen um, uh, shots, what I just did uh, before recording this video. So you're going to go down to the Insert tab. Here is the screenshot I did. So you go down to the Insert tab right here. And then you will see at the very right corner, it's called a screen recording. Sooner you press that screen recording, that little screen will pop up at the very top. There are just four options, record when you're ready to record, and then select area. You can choose the area you want to record it. You can select a portion of it. You can select the entire screen. You just need to click on that and then hold it down and drag it to your screen. Just like let's say you wanted to record this much area of your screen. Bring your mouse cursor here, hold it and then drag it all the way down here. So just try to capture the screen whatever you're trying to record it. And once you have that, that's the number one thing you have to do it. And then make sure your uh, audio button is enabled. If it's not, uh, it will you will still be able to record your video but there won't be any uh, audio there. A record, uh, record pointer, it's also good to enable it because when you record, um, your pointer will show on the screen if you're trying to show something. And that little paper clip thing here, so you can dock it and undock it. And when you dock it, that will stay there forever. And it will be if you're trying to capture your entire screen. See right here, I undocked it. So when you dock it, that it, it will turn different direction so it's not um, docked so now I'm going to move my mouse cursor see it will automatically go up there so if you dock it it will always will be there um, if it doesn't bother you you just can keep it there um, sometimes it bothers me because whatever is in behind the screen and I need to use some options like let's say these ones I won't be able to select any of those options um, so that's why I always undock it um, and then just press the record button and then it will start recording it for you. So yeah, once you're done recording, um, you just press the stop button or there will be a pause. So if you pause it and maybe let's say you have to do something in the middle, you can pause it and then come back again and start recording it. So it will just start recording from wherever you left off. You don't need to... Um, record separate clips and use the video editor software to merge all together you can if you want but i always just pause it uh yeah so then once you're done then press the stop button so now you press the stop button your video will show up on one of your powerpoint slide it will be on the uh, last powerpoint slide um so now this is the video i made it before 
see if I'm gonna play it. See, here is my video. I yeah, so I made that video before, and when I want to save it, so you can save it uh, directly onto your desktop from here. Just right click on it, you will see an option called the Save Media As. Sooner you press the Save Media As, you will get that little um, window here. Just save it wherever you want to. I always try to save it at a desktop, easy for me to access when I upload my videos on YouTube. So just make sure you name it, whatever you're trying to record it, press the save button, and video will be on your screen. Okay, uh, yeah, so then you can just, here is the video that I recorded before, and it's right here. See, it doesn't have any screen, uh, You, it's not a noticeable that I used the PowerPoint, uh, because I only did the a screen where I had my content. I only selected this area. Yeah, so you can uh, select whatever screen you want. So whenever I record my math lessons, I only select this much area. Okay, so this is how I enable the screen. And now I'm going to show you when I, it comes to writing things for my math. Just going to add a new slide here. As I said before, I only select this screen here. I don't really select anything outside. And then there is a tab called a draw. So this is what I can use it to write things down for my math class. I have um, different kinds of pens. I have highlighters. Then I have an eraser. Draw with the touch will help if you have a touch screen and you can draw with your finger. I, I I can't really draw with the finger. This is the one reason I got my Wacom tablet. It's easier for me to write it down uh, using some sort of tablet. Okay, so and there's a ruler. If you want to draw a straight line, you can use your ruler here and then you can just move it down from here. I just need to use my mouse cursor. So you can just change the rotation of your ruler. Um, then you can also change a link to text. Let's say you're writing something. If I write hello, I hope it will change it to text. It's so ink to text. Turning into shape. I got it. Okay. So here I selected. There you go. So that's how you can turn ink to text. And there is ink to shape option as well. So I'm going to try to do some sort of right triangle. I hope it will uh, turn that into shape as well. So let's see. There you go. So this is how you can turn your shapes into um, uh, whatever your hand or drawing the stuff is. And then ink to math. If you have to write an equation, you can use this option here. Open math equation editor. So now let's see. I want to write 2x squared plus or X so that's how you can use it you can write it down here it will automatically convert that into uh, text I'll do insert here and here is my equation okay. um, and then ink replay it's uh, whatever you did it before if I hit that whatever I did it before it will automatically replay it for me just only the ink part I did um, yeah, so maybe let's do one question here. So let's say we are going to multiply these two binomials, 4x plus 3. You can use a different colors here. When you multiply two binomials, you use the FOIL method. So that, that's how you can use a different colors. Whatever you want here. Okay, so the one reason I only select this much screen, it's easy for me to access my toolbar here. Um, and that's why I always undock it. If you dock it, let's say you're gonna, I'm going to press that button. And now, see, I can't really go back here. I cannot really access any of those back ones because it will be static here. It will not dis, uh, just disappear. Okay, uh, so I will undock it. See now, sooner I move my mouse cursor, I can access all those tools. 
Okay, yeah, so this is uh, pretty much all I wanted to show it to you today. Uh, if you have any questions, comments, please uh, feel free to put that in the comment box. If you do like my video, please uh, hit the like button. If you don't like it, I would love to hear your feedback. Um, I'm totally new to YouTube, so I'm just trying to help myself learn something new. Whatever I know, I'm trying to help other people as well. Uh, so this is all for today. Thank you very much and enjoy your day. Bye-bye.